Hello, it is, uh, welcome to episode 11 of CBK, Pastor Brian's College of Biblical Knowledge. Uh, I'm here in the uh, pastor's corner at the Sweet Home Evangelical Church on a rainy day in Oregon. What are the odds? And uh, yesterday I was on a webinar, uh, which is kind of a seminar on the internet, and um, it wasn't it was, from what they tell me anyway, there are close to a thousand pastors and faith leaders in Oregon there, and we were hearing from the governor's office and the Oregon Health Authority and things like that, trying to figure out, you know, get some answers of when we can reopen churches and how that looks and whatever, and they didn't have a lot of answers for me, so it's still kind of a mystery. <laughs> we we don't yeah they didn't have a lot of answers and so we're still waiting uh and some of you are getting antsy to get back in the building some of you are like ah, maybe i'll wait a little bit longer and so either way oh like they say uh what's that what's that oh silly saying uh yesterday's history tomorrow's a mystery and so we're going with it you know mystery is an interesting word in, in Ephesians, there is that word comes up, depending on the translation, mystery or mysterious, it comes up six or seven times in the book of Ephesians. And when we're talking about mystery, we're not talking about like a murder mystery. Uh, TV shows, or there's a lot of murder mysteries on TV shows. And we're not, you know, when in Ephesians, when it talks about the mystery, we're not trying to figure out if it was Colonel Mustard with the candlestick in the library or something. It, it, this mystery in Ephesians, it is a mystery where we're talking about something that you, you didn't know. And that's, that's the more simple meaning of the word mystery. It's, it's something that you just, you didn't know before. And, and, and Paul, he uses this term several times in the book of Ephesians. Uh, I'm preaching uh, in Ephesians chapter 6 on the armor of God on Sundays. And um, I'm, I don't know about you, but I'm having a good time going through the armor of God and what each of these means for us. But uh, last week in the Bible reading plan, we read through the book of Ephesians. There's all kinds of interesting stuff here. So I'm, I'm trying to get a few more things out of Ephesians on these CBK videos. But Paul talks about the mystery. And he, and he uses that term in chapter 1, verse 9. And I got my Bible here. So in, in chapter 1, verse 9, it says, God has now revealed to us his mysterious plan regarding Christ, a plan to fulfill his own good pleasure. God's revealed his mysterious plan. That sounds, well, mysterious. And that's not what we think of when we think of the gospel. Is the gospel mysterious? Maybe it is. It is mysterious because there's things we don't know. And then Paul says in chapter 3, verse 3, he says, as I briefly wrote earlier, God himself revealed his mysterious plan to me. Great. Paul, God told Paul's secrets. He, he's in on the mystery. And then he says down in chapter 3, verse 9, I was chosen to explain to everyone this mysterious plan that God, the creator of all things, has kept secret from the beginning. Uh, Paul, where, where he says chosen to tell everyone, he, he talks about how he has been chosen to tell Jews and Gentiles, people who have this long history with God, uh, just going clear back to Father Abraham, and people who know nothing about God. And, and Paul, he, he uses this term mystery a few times, and I think he's doing it just to catch our attention. And then in, in chapter 3, verse 12, he, he, he tells us what this mystery is. And he says, Because of Christ and our faith in him, we can now come boldly and confidently into God's presence. 
Because of Christ and our faith in him, we can come boldly and confidently into God's presence. That's the mystery. For centuries, hundreds, even thousands of years before Jesus, nobody knew that this was God's plan. Nobody knew. And and now Jesus showed up. I mean, you know, they were the prophets were, you know, had all these things and and you would think God gave them enough clues and hints, but they still didn't quite get it. And then the mystery is revealed. Jesus shows up. And because of Jesus and our faith in him, we can boldly come into God's presence, boldly and with confidence. These days, because of virus stuff, we don't boldly and confidently go into any place. I was on this webinar yesterday with the governor's office and the Oregon Health Authority just trying to talk through how people are going to come back to church. Are we going to do that boldly and confidently? Uh, I had council meeting last night, and we, we decided we don't need to rush into this. We don't need to win and be first at, at coming back into the building. We can let somebody else do that because we want people to be able to come into the church building boldly and confidently. Uh, we don't boldly and confidently go into the grocery store anymore. We've got all this suspicion and fear of a virus out there uh, and uh, people are wearing face masks and there's like one-way streets down the aisles. Why did stores make these aisles way too narrow in the first place? I don't know, but anyway, we, we, we have this real serious issue with boldness and confidence these days. And I get that. Uh, we are working hard to make uh, the church building as safe as possible so when we do come back, you can boldly and confidently enter the building. Yet, here's the mystery. The mystery of the gospel. It sounds like, you know, something weird because we have in our minds, you know, Scooby-Doo or whatever, some sort of mysterious thing going on. But it's just people didn't know this before. Now Paul is telling people things they didn't know. Because of Christ and our faith in him, we can boldly and confidently enter into God's presence. We can come into God's presence. Just because we can't be together, that doesn't mean we can't boldly and confidently come into God's presence. So I'm going to pray for you right now. I'm going to pray that, that God's presence would surround you, that you would, you would feel this boldness and this confidence to enter into God's presence, that you can experience God's presence in your life today. Let me pray for you. Lord God, this whole mystery thing, it was a mystery to the world until Jesus showed up. And it's been a mystery to individuals around the world until people have shared the gospel. And for some people, that still is a mystery. And maybe some are watching today, and it's kind of a mystery to them about this whole thing with Jesus and all of that. But, Lord, we thank you for sending Jesus. Lord, we thank you that through our faith in Jesus, we can have salvation and hope, and we can have peace and so that we can boldly and confidently enter into your presence. Lord, help us to live in awareness of that, that we can experience your presence today and every day. Lord, we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Hey, have a great day. And uh, let's see, I think I'll, I'll post something again on Friday. And uh, so have a wonderful afternoon. Bye.